so this should go up on either Tuesday or Sunday but as I said I've got enough videos for Tuesday and Sunday pre-filmed, some edited, some will obviously be edited to go for at least a month or more because I don't know how many I've got, I know that I did start filming them because I wanted to bulk film because I know how I'm feeling so I thought if I'm having a good day or I'm having a day where I've done my hair or whatever which I've done my hair today but it's it got a little bit down, it's just a little bit wavy at the moment but you know this is raw, this is real, this is me so you know I just wanted to just say look I'm probably going to take some time out from old vlogs but you know I've got vlogs until at least the middle of July because it will go back to two a week at some point I'm just trying to get everything so it's not too far behind and when I'm on the break I will still film little bits and pieces so then when I back off my break which as I said it could be a week, could be two weeks, could be three, could be four, could be five weeks I don't know at this moment because I'm not even at the point where I'm taking the break because I'm that far ahead and I've already got a ton of stuff scheduled but I will film little bits and pieces so then when I do come back I can start back on the bye week because or whatever I've decided to do when I come back but because I'm feeling down I don't particularly want to come on here and film my life because yeah I don't mind doing the story times I already know what to say but in my daily life I don't know what to say other than I'm feeling down I've gone to the shop I've come over to the shop I've bought this I bought that I'm not really saying anything else and you know I know people don't mind but I mind because I'm getting a bit bored of it and I'm not wanting to put a camera in my face for the most part but if you're depressed you'll know what I mean by that so another thing is there's someone in my life who controls my life and 90% of what goes on in my life and they've con heavily controlled my life for many many years and you know, for the last couple of years I've seen the level of control they've had over me because people have been in and out of my life and they've said that person's controlling you or they're doing this or they're doing that or you know, they're making comments about it and because of them making the comments I've seen what's going on even though I've not wanted to admit it's going on I've, I've seen it and even though I know it's going on I kind of feel caught up in it and trapped in it because they've got me in a situation that if I try and leave the situation I basically can't afford to leave the situation and they've made sure I can't afford to leave the situation and I'm not gonna say who it is but if you know me and you know my life and you know you know it really well you'll know who I'm talking about and you might have even told me that this person's controlling me or you might have seen it for yourself but it's so frustrating when you're in a situation and even though yes you can see it and you know they're doing it it's hard to let go, it's hard to get out of that situation because in that situation you know how it works, you know where you fit in within the situation and even though you're not happy with the situation, you're not happy with what's going on around you, you're not happy with the rules and regulations of this situation it's been part of your life or my life because we're talking about me for so long that I'm scared not to be in the situation and I know getting out of the situation I will have absolutely nothing and when you're used to having what I have it's not something that's easy to give up and the person that's controlling me knows that and knows you know the reason why I'm in this situation is because I know if I leave the situation I'll basically have nothing and go back 10 spaces or 10 paces if you know what I mean like say it's like a game of snakes and ladders and you're right at the top and you hit the snake and you go all the way down to the bottom that's basically what my life is going to be if or when I get out of this the situation that I'm in where most of my life is controlled by this person but this person knows I know what's going on this person knows how to control me, they know what to say, they know what to do but this person's literally gone too far now and it's like someone said to me eventually in everything in life people can only take a certain amount before they say enough's enough, I can't enough's enough, I can't deal with this anymore, this has to stop 
and literally this afternoon, a few hours ago, this person lied to me and I knew they were lying and it's not a new lie that they told me, it's a lie they've been telling me for a couple of months. I've bumped into someone and they've made a comment about this person and I thought, no, they're lying, they're trying to get me to react to them. This person wouldn't tell this lie to me. So then I'd go and say to this person, such and such has just said blah 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 to me. And then this person who's controlling me is like, oh no, that's not true. And I'm like, are you sure it's not true? And they're like, yeah, it's not true. And then bump into the person again and then they mention the same thing again and then I go to this person and say look they've said it again why are they saying it again it's a little bit weird that they're saying it and, there's, and this person's saying well they're just saying it just to see what how you'll react to it and I'm like so there's nothing to it and this person's like no there's nothing to it so I bumped into this person again and they said blah 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 and because it's the third time I've said it, I'm just thinking, do you know what, you're really taking the piss here, you, you, you're really going a little bit too far here because you keep saying the same thing to me, but the person who's controlling me is saying, no, this isn't true, they're absolutely lying, they're just trying to get you to react or to say something about it, it's not true. So I went to see this person, the one that's controlling me, and I normally go to see them at a certain time and they weren't there and I'm like where are you I can't get him and they're like oh I'm just such and such I'm like but you knew I was coming at this time and sat there waiting and waiting and it took me ages to get there because the traffic was horrendous and I'm thinking well I'm not just gonna like turn around and go home because you know it took me a while to get here so I sat and waiting and waiting and I went in and I was doing something and I went so I bumped into such and such today and they told me blah 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 again I said you know what I'm sick of them lying to me I said you know I was so close to having a go at them but I just could not be bothered but if they say it to me again I'm going to have a go at them and I said what, why do they keep saying it to me like what is going on and they were like oh, I don't know why they're saying it it's not true and I said do you know what if I ring the person up who they're talking about, who's involved in this as well as you, are they going to tell me you're telling the truth or they're telling the truth? It's like, I'm telling the truth, I'm telling the truth. I went, right, so if I get my phone out and ring such and such a person, right now, what are they going to tell me? And the person who is controlling me is like, they're going to, you know, they're going to say, you know, it's they're going to say it's basically not true so I said right I'm going to ring them now so I got my phone out and I waited so I'm sat, I'm stood there like this I'm like right I'm going to dial them now because it's someone we mutually know so I'm, I'm like it's like well actually so they're like well actually they're telling the truth the person who said it to you these times I'm like you've lied to me I've asked you countless times now if what they're saying is true I said I almost really like had a go at them today because I'm so sick of them lying to me he went oh, oh yeah it's true and I'm like so you've been lying to me for months then they tried to play it down and make it sound like it sound like they had no choice but to do it and I'm like well actually you did have the choice to do it but you've done it you've done what I've been told you've been doing for months and you've continued to do it even though I've asked you at least on three occasions if not more because I also asked on other times when I hadn't bumped into this person because I thought it's a little bit strange that this person keeps telling me that this person's doing a certain thing so I said I've constantly asked you and you've lied to me and they just tried to make out that they hadn't lied and I'm like well you actually have lied and I'm sick to death of you lying to me it's just lie after lie after lie I said, all you ever do is tell me lies, and when I find out you've lied to me, there's always an excuse, or you get angry at me and you storm off. I said, I'm just sick of being li lied to, but not only do you lie to me, you lie about me. And I pointed out a few instances where they've basically said something to me, like they've told me that they've told someone a certain something, and I've been in a conversation with people and said, oh, such so as said, told me they said this and they were like 
well no they haven't said this to us and I'm like well they told me that they've said this to you so then I'd contact that person and say you know I've had this conversation they're saying you've not said this and the person who controls me is like oh no I've definitely said it I'm going to contact them and ask them what they're playing at so then when I next see these people and say well this person's told me such and such and that they've rectified things they were like, well no, they haven't contacted us at all. So now I'd go off and be like, well what's going on here? And to the person that's controlling me, they're again saying you've not said this and you've not rung up and rectified it. And they'd be like, oh, well they're lying. So then I'd be thinking, these people are lying to me. So I'd have a go at them and I'd be really difficult with them. And that went on for months and then eventually last year, like around August, September time, the person that controls me the most actually said to me, actually, when I was saying this, that and the other to you, and I was telling you that I was saying these things to these people, I weren't actually saying them. And I'm like, well why would you tell me that? Because I was like going there thinking you'd said this, that and the other and I was told you weren't and they weren't. The person that controlled me said, well, you shouldn't have even been discussing it. I said, well, of course we're going to discuss it because what you said impacts me in a way. And they, they had no justification for what they did. And then they told me they were going to rectify what they'd done and ring up whoever they needed to ring up and say, look, I've done this, I've caused this, I've made Melanie think you were liars and blah, blah, blah. But I don't even think that the person that controlled me has even rung up and said that that's the truth and you know this last six seven eight months nine months a lot of things have come out where I found out they've not only lied to me on countless occasions but lied about me and when I've talked to people about you know things that have come out and things that have admitted to me they've been like well this person's controlling you they're controlling the situation they're controlling how you're acting because you're obviously going to defend them because of who they are they're controlling every little part of your life but you can't see it and I'm like but I can't, but I can see the lies and I can see the lying to me and about me. But I can't understand why. I can't understand why this person would lie about me when all I've ever done is defend them. When other people have said to me, this person hasn't said this, that and the other, I've been like, oh, you're a liar. And I've actually stood up for this person because of who they are and how loyal I am to them. But today when the truth come out about what they've been doing behind my back and not only lying to me but making me think that this person was telling me these big lies to the point where I almost really told them off for lying to me, I was just like, do you know what, this is the final straw, this has to stop, I cannot have you in my life anymore because what you're doing is wrong, you've controlled my life for two thirds of it and I've given up so much for you, I've done everything you've wanted me to do I'm not happy, you know I'm not happy and I listed the various reasons why and I'm not going to go into in this video because if it's not obvious who I'm talking about to people who don't know me that well it's probably obvious to the people do, that do know me or do know of me who I'm talking about but it's literally got to the point where I've just like, you know what this can't carry on, I don't particularly want to know you anymore, which is hard for me to say because of who they are, but when everyone's telling me this person's controlling me and I'm still defending them and defending their actions, you know, it's not right and they've told quite a major lie and I almost kicked off at someone, like I almost had an argument with someone because they keep saying this thing, which is actually true and the person that's controlling me the most in my life has continuously denied it until today.